Hello, this tutorial I'm going to demonstrate for you how to add a button with code for jumping around on the main timeline of your movie. So here we are in Flash and I already have a button over here. I've called it car button because of its shape and there's nothing on my timeline. So I'm going to build a menu in my timeline by adding the car and kind of organizing it. So maybe this is some sort of animation all about transportation or solar power or anything of that nature. And once I have these three objects here, each one is a duplicate of this. So how Flash distinguishes one from another for programming is up in the properties panel. If you don't see the properties panel here, you can look over on this side or perhaps go into your window and look for properties right there. In the properties it indicates that this is an instance of car button. Each button is a distinct instance and that's why it has the space for an instance name. So I'm going to name this C button 1 and I could name each one differently. C button 2 and C button 3. Now that I have all three of those it's really easy to add code to activate these. So right now I have nowhere for them to jump to so I'm gonna add on a little animation here, go on to another frame. Uh, let's see. I'll add a new layer and let me la label these buttons. I'm gonna label this one actions with a capital A and this one is going to be um, maybe step one of some video. So then I can go out here, add a new keyframe, put in my drawing, whatever it happens to be, etc., etc. So now I have two distinct frames. Here's how the coding works. I'm going to click on actions, click on the frame where I want my coding to be. And then in the properties panel, I'm going to click on this little arrow. Or if you already have an actions panel open, you can click on that. And so I'm going to type in here, stop. I want it to stop on the first frame. So if I go back to the timeline, what I will see is on my actions layer, there's a little letter A that now appears indicating action. And if I play my video, the second frame won't play. It gets stopped at the first frame. So now how do I move on to another frame? This is the programming part you've been waiting for. I'm going to click on the object that I want to trigger as a button. And then I can come up here to Window and choose Code Snippets. These are pretty easy to use. I can actually dump that in there. What we want are timeline navigation and I choose what's most appropriate. In this case I want to click to go to frame and stop or kick, click to go to frame and play. I'm going to take this one, double click on it and what it will do is add code onto where I already had code. It knows the name of the button since I've already named them and it knows how to add the code. The only thing I need to modify is what frame it thinks it's going to. In this case it says 5. I actually want to go to frame 2. And so now that I have it in frame 2, I can play this. And when I do and click on the car, it goes to frame 2 and stops. I can add as many of these buttons as I want throughout my entire movie. The only trick is making sure that you've added an instance name to your button and set up a keyframe on the timeline where you want that action to occur. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you very much.